Good morning, Bloom Trojans. This is the Tuesday Show. Coming up on today's edition of Bloom Saying, What If Students Had Superpowers? I'm your host, Matt Howard. On activities, we have Darion Walker. And on sports, we have Jasmine Perez. It is Tuesday, January 24th, 2023, and you are watching Bloom Saying. Now for our top story, Bloom Charger. Now is your chance to thank the staff that have gone the extra mile for you. Please check your email from Miss Santiago and fill out the form to show your appreciation for that teacher or another staff member who has made a positive impact in your life. Nominations will be taken until January 27th. Bloom High School will participate in the HBCU College Fair on Tuesday, February 21st. 2023 at Prairie State. Transportation to and from this event will be provided. This event will begin with the presentation from the participating HBCUs. Historical black colleges, universities, students will then go to the college fair where there will be approximately 60 colleges and uni universities in attendance. This is a great opportunity to learn more about what these colleges and universities can provide when trying to decide upon their post high school plans. Students will need to obtain a permission slip in the counseling office. Sign Sign Mr. Slips will need to be turned into the council office by February 10th. Please, please con contact Mr. Turner, Ms. Fushi Peterson, or Ms. Miller if you have any further questions. Bloom Senior Class in partnership with Bloom Trail present the best of both worlds turn about 2023. This will be the first time both schools join together and host a school dance. It will be held February 17th from 6.30 to 10.30 p.m. at Glenwood Golf Club. Tickets are $30 and will go on sale in the bookstore January 25th. Tickets will be first come, first serve. The first 50 students at each school to purchase those tickets will also receive a free t-shirt. This event will have good food, music, and fun photo booth. You don't want to miss this out-of-world event, so be prepared to purchase tickets right away because this event will sell out. That's it for announcement. Let's go to Darion with your activities. Thanks, Matt. The School Elastic Bowl team competed in the second half of the conference tournament this past Wednesday. Patience Obiala was MVP for the JV team with 10 toss-up questions. Jaleese Thomas answered six toss-up questions, and Jaden Jackson scored two. Patience was also named to the all-conference team on varsity. Tyler Ellison was MVP with 14 toss-up questions. Jemiah Pfizer had two. Tyler was also named to the all-conference team and was ranked fourth among all varsity players in the conference. Congratulations to the Scholastic Bowl team on a great season. Members of the Scholastic Bowl should keep listening to announcements for news about off-season game days and the spring pizza party. That is it for activities. Now let's go to Jasmine with sports. Thanks, Darion. The boys' varsity basketball team defeated rival Thornton on Friday, January 20th with a score of 57-52. to Unfortunately, after a tight game that went into overtime, we lost to another major rival, Homewood Flossmoor, on Saturday, January 21st with a score of 69-70. to The boys return home to face Thornwood this Friday, January 27th. The boys' basketball team is currently 14-6 and overall and remain undefeated in conference, 6-0. The girls basketball team lost to Thornwood this past Thursday, January 19th. The team is 10 and 10 overall and 3 and 5 in conference. The girls play Kinkakee on Monday and we should have a score for that game on tomorrow's show. The girls are home at Bloom Trail against Cremoni this Thursday, January 26th. That's it for sports. Let's take it back to Matt. Before we go, we ask students what superpowers they wish they had. All right, Bloomsey, I'm here with your host, Darion. You here with? Uh, Martin Luther King, Jr. What about Pat? Kelly. Andrew. Macari. And he bucks. And today's question is, if you got any superpower, what would it be? Uh, probably be like Batman. Superpower? Karate. Karate? Yeah, like super real good karate skills? Yeah, like that. Like all right, for sure. Go on. Nah, my love, my, my power will probably be, I'm, man, I'm immortal. Forget it, I'm immortal. Can't nobody kill me. Why, why, why would you want to be immortal? Why would I want to die? You can still die of age. You ain't got to just die because you ain't got hurt. I probably ain't going to die till I'm like, it's going to, oh, no, I'm immortal. Can't nobody touch me. Go ahead and try. I just think I'm going to live longer. Yeah, All right, for sure. I'm married. Married, why? 
Because I just be wanting to know what people be thinking. Like who, who, who man would you definitely want to read? My man. <laughs> I want to be an invisible person, like, you know. Because if you're invisible, you can do whatever you want. You ain't going to get caught either. Um, scum. Genders. To be what? Two genders. So a boy and a girl? Yes. <laughs> I say teleportation so I can go where I want, you know. Fuck, uh, hey, flying. <laughs> Just because, I, man, flight, bro, you can do anything with flight, man. Uh, telekinesis. Why? So I just, like, give people money. Scum, scum. Personally, I think super speed would be pretty beneficial. Why do you think super speed would be beneficial? I would think mostly because... It's a great way to get to class faster. And plus, you don't even need to learn how to drive, because you could just run. It's ideal. Yep, I, I think that'd be a good superpower. Let's bloom team teachers and staff. Remember to email your announcements to Mr. Cook. We will see you here again.